Hey guys, I'm back with another video for you guys. For you guys, Ooh, excuse me. Hmm, somebody got stabbed in the back. Ooh, somebody trusted somebody. Somebody trusted somebody with their heart, and I feel like maybe I got stabbed in the back. This could be currently happening, or it will pop up in the near future. Keep in mind, guys, we are currently in a retrograde, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> so things may be a little out of whack. There may be communication issues. <clears throat> yeah. I feel like we got engagement ring and then we got the Grim Reaper and a Phoenix. Somebody uh somebody's marriage could be on the rocks. Like it's like could possibly be ending, wrapping up the cycle, um, or it is headed towards divorce. Um, somebody is like, Yeah, that's it. This was your last this was your last try, this was your last shot. Or a relationship is not moving to the next level um, of, like, engagement. You know, you could be feeling the need to, like, hey, we've been together for some time. What are we doing? What's next? And I feel like there hasn't been any type of, like, this person hasn't made any effort to get married or move in or take things to the next level. But they have been laying around. They've been laying in it. <laughs> They've been getting, you know. They've been, they've been all, you know, getting all the passion and romance and getting everything, having their cake and eating too. Um, and they haven't been putting any forth any real effort to take things to the next level. So some of you may be ending things because this person does not want to ascend, does not want to grow up. And I feel like this person could do something to leave you kind of like heartbroken, um, or you leave this person heartbroken, but somebody stabs somebody in the back. I feel like this this person does something um, that may not even be out of their character. You, <clears throat> this person, I feel like some of you may have been with this person for quite some time. So you know their traits, you know their qualities, you know what's good about them, you know their bad side, you know them front and back. Okay, this person, like they... <sighs> They may come in with an attack, okay, um, and could leave you feeling some type of way, okay. So this person may have some type of some type of carrying motive. You may express that you feel like this person, like this relationship, isn't moving forward, and this person does something out of spite. They attack you in some type of way, whether it be emotionally mentally they attack you in some type of way or they try to um they try to leave you heartbroken or sad this person's intention is kind of like to leave you sad so they want you to chase them okay so they want you to chase them and run them down and tell them that you love them and yada da 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 but this person is jealous of you and they don't have no boundaries neither. They don't. They don't have not now piece of boundary. Actually, they're actually sabotaging this connection. <clears throat> I feel like this person is purposely sabotaging this connection because they want you to chase them. They want they want to feel needed in some way, shape, or form. Like this person may feel like you should be doing should be chasing them running them down and i feel like this person purposely sabotages um youtube connection from time to time to try to get you in line so i feel like this person is doing things to try to get you in line try to get you to do things their way move a certain way give me one more Hand of cards, yeah. See, this person is like being strategic, okay. This person is being strategic, so right now, this person don't be surprised, y'all. If this person start acting weird, start doing weird stuff out of the blue, getting up, leaving, saying things are over, blah, blah, blah. this person wants control. 
They're trying to mold you. They're trying to mold you into what they want you to be. Tell me more about this person. What is this person's energy? Tell me more. Yeah, I got the Eight of Cups. So this person walked out. They did that because they're trying to manipulate. This person is very manipulative, okay? This person is very manipulative. Yeah, I see this. The, there was an ending, okay? So this person left, moved on, walked out. And I see things ended with this Ten of Swords energy here. So this person, they they very much so feel like they are like, they feel themselves. King of Wands, this King of Wands energy is very arrogant. I wouldn't say arrogant, but confident. And they're very much so like, they, you know, like, look, this, I'm, I'm him. Okay. I'm him. I do see this person being very pushy, aggressive. Like, this person is just coming off as, like, arrogant. They're coming off as arrogant. I don't feel like they're... I feel like they're a king of wands in reverse right now. They're coming off very arrogant. Some of you... You did see things... I feel like some of y'all was hoping that things were going moving forward. And maybe they were for a little while. But I do see this person, like, wants you to fight for their love. They want you to fight for their love. It's like, I feel like this person is trying to just get you shook up. Like, they're trying to shake you up. They're trying to mold you. That's just what I'm getting. This person is very, very inconsistent. They're here one minute and then gone the next minute. But however, they are spying on you. They are spying. They could be uh, in your bushes somewhere. With that four of wands, this is home. Okay, so this person could be like riding by it, riding past your home. <clears throat> Definitely spying, though. Eight of Wands. And then I feel like this person may be getting advice from his circle, his or her circle of friends. This person could be like a Cancer or a Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like this person is getting advice from friends, talking to friends, or like getting advice from, from outsiders. On what they should do, how how they should move forward. Something about this Eight of Wands here. The Tower, yeah, yeah. Because they they're uncertain. They're not they're not sure. They don't really even know what they're doing. I I feel like this person is doing is very impulsive. They're taking their actions are being very impulsive. And it's to try to control, okay? To have control over the situation. Now, this person is definitely giving, trying to control you. Yeah. You got the strength. It's a power struggle. So, you and this person could be in the middle of, like, a power struggle. Yeah, I feel like that you and this person could be in a power struggle. Tell me more about this strength card right here. Perfect. Could be a Taurus. Somebody needs to realize their self worth here. We got the judgment and the nine of pentacles. I feel like somebody. I feel like there, this person may not like the fact that that you are very structured. You have morals. You do things kind of like by the book. Um, 
you want to be married, you want things to, to, to go a certain way. Um, and this, I feel like this is because of how you look at yourself, how you value yourself. I feel like this person may be intimidated by you and by the things, the, like your mindset, the way you think, the way you dress, the way you look. I feel like you may be out of this person's league a little bit. And it's something that this person may not be used to, how you carry yourself. You carry yourself with morals and dignity. And I feel like this upsets this person. This person is out here, like, having a tantrum now. Being childish. Being childish. This person is very, very pissed right now. They're very upset. Frantic. It's like this person just rushes out. And and goes off and does something a little foolish or take a leap of faith else elsewhere. Because they don't want to look like a fool. Why is that not a source here? Why are they upset? They got four pentacles. They're withholding something. Okay, they've been holding their feelings back. They've been hiding their feelings. They've been holding something back. They've been holding back their feelings. Some people about the four pentacles. So they may have some type of outburst or moment where they have like this this frantic moment. Tell me more about the four pentacles. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be someone, uh, someone's baby mother or mother with this Empress card here. They could be getting advice from someone, their mother or grandmother or another, a third party. Yeah, they've been hiding their feelings. Like, they've been hiding how they feel. They're hiding how they feel. Tell me more. Tell me more. Why, what are they hiding? What are they hiding? They got, they got a real talk. They got some toxic ways. Okay, I'm getting like exposed. <clears throat> this person wants to expose the lies, or uh, this, this, this person is trying to expose you as a liar. This person is dangerous. This is, this is not somebody that you want to have around you or keep around you or have in your space. And I'm saying that because this person is giving jealous. They're giving, this person is giving that they're petty. They're extremely petty. We got that five of swords energy here. We know that is petty energy. And that is petty. They're jealous. They're envious. They're spiteful. They're toxic. This person, like, is very, like, they're giving it anxiety like this person has anxiety <clears throat> they have issues with their anxiety but i do see like a break period between you two the four of swords with that uh ten of wands is giving like a break period and i feel like this person they they don't appreciate what you bring to the table they aren't appreciative of the things that you have to offer. Yeah, see. 
the, you're the, I'm feeling like you're a great, that's a great opportunity. But this person, they want to argue, nitpick, put you in a position to where you have to compete. They want you to be very, like, they want to irritate your spirit. I feel like this person doesn't want you to be at peace. Because they are in that piece. And I feel like the best. I feel like you're the best thing smoking with that Ace of Pentacles. You could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel like you're like the best. Like you're the best thing that this person has ever had. I feel like the offer is golden. This is a golden opportunity. And I feel like this person is not appreciative. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups energy. I feel like this person is not appreciative. Yeah. I feel like you're going to end up having regrets, okay? Because you find out the truth about this person. You find out you gain some clarity about this person. I feel like you gain some clarity. Tell me more about that five of cups. This is going to leave you feeling regretful. <coughs> yeah, because I feel like you had a lot of hope for this situation, a lot of hope for this person and what you and this person can do. But I feel like you end up, you end up being heartbroken. And I'm hearing so everybody can go back and look and say that you did it first. So this person, like, I feel like this person, don't don't give this person too much of your energy. This person intentions, they, they give it real nasty and spiteful. Like, they don't, this person is, I, I just don't like their energy. I don't like their energy. I don't, I don't, I, I'm not fucking with it. I feel like you have a lot to offer and I feel like this person is taking mad advantage of it they're being inconsistent they're being very bold, boastful and they're letting their pride be in the way and I feel like you all deserve better and yeah like they're not it they're not it so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below and I'm going to chat with you later